Hi everyone, this is Hima Bindu of class 9th excellent. In this video, I am going to explain you about Newton's laws of motion. As we all know, it was described by Isaac Newton. In 1686, he presented his three laws of motion in the Principia Mathematica philosophy nutrients. Newton's laws of motion. Newton's first law states that an object at rest remains at rest and an object in motion remains in motion at a constant speed and in a straight line unless acted on by an unbalanced force. For example, a person is traveling in a bus. If the sudden brakes are applied, the person falls forward forward due to mass and inertia and again he comes back to his initial position newton's second law the rate of change of momentum of a body over time is directly proportional to the force applied for example pushing a shopping cart Force applied to push the shopping cart depends upon the mass and the acceleration of the cart. Acceleration, hence acceleration is directly proportional to the force applied. The formula is force is equals to mass into acceleration. F is equals to ma. Newton's third law of motion. All forces between Two objects exist in equal magnitude and opposite direction. For example, hammer and nail. Hammer. The action of hammer tries to force the nail downwards. Similarly, nail opposes hammer's action becomes because of the rough, rough surface below the nail. As we all know, if there was no third law of motion, maybe we uh, the life would not exist on the earth and uh, we could not ride on a um, horse and uh, we could not keep our photo frames on walls, etc. As we all know, if there was no third law of motion, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. If we hit the hammer, it oppose uh, hit the hammer tries to hit the nail downwards. Similarly, the nail opposes hammer's action because of the rough surface below the nail. Uh, the formula uh, means it is F1 is equals to minus F2. A force applied by object 1 is equals to minus object 2. Here, balanced and unbalanced force. It is an uh, example for Newton's first law of motion also. Balanced, uh, uh, balanced and unbalanced force rest. If the object is in rest, there is no change uh, with the respect to its surroundings with time. Uh, whereas balanced force, if uh, your hand and uh, another hand uh, between an object if your right hand and left hand applies the same force uh, there will be no movement the where, which object is between your hands whereas uh, when your uh, right hand pushes an object towards left side that time uh, there will be no other force to uh, stop the movement that time uh, the object moves towards left side uh, the result of two opposite forces acts on an object and brings it to bring it in motion thank you